A social studies teacher in Gurney started teaching more than 50 years ago and never stopped. It's a long time. Teaching so long, in fact, he just broke a Guinness World Record for longest serving social studies teacher. Regina Waldrop takes a closer look at his record breaking career. Make sure your notebook is open. Choosing a career and what I'd like you to do can be a difficult decision for some, but not for Paul Doritz. By age 11, he was absolutely certain he wanted to be a social studies teacher. I would talk with my father, who fought in the Battle of the Bulge, uh, and he got a Purple Heart, and he would tell me all his war experiences, and that got me going. September 1970. That's when he first walked into a classroom at Woodland Middle School in Gurnee. Richard Nixon was president. Vietnam War was still going on. And uh, yeah, that was a crazy time. Now at age 76, Paul is still teaching at Woodland. They can be people, they can be events. Guinness World Records has named him the longest working social studies teacher with 53 years on the job. In fact, they didn't believe it at first. And making copies a lot easier for Paul these days. When he started out teaching, he used something called a ditto machine. That was horrendous because you had to crank up this machine. It was a, like a drum and uh, to make copies for the students. And it was smelly. You'd get this ink all over your hands. Derek Williamson is assistant principal. We got a lot of younger teachers on the team that are following his lead, and he continues to set a new record every day that he shows up. We need more Pauls. We need more Pauls. There you go. Paul's love of history and teaching has inspired former students to follow in his footsteps. One of his daughters even became a teacher. She's since retired. Yes, sir. Kids may come and go, but Paul says he has no plans to leave. His advice to aspiring teachers, never lose that passion and have lots of patience. Teaching is not, is not a job, it's a lifestyle. In Gurney. Who else wants to give me a thought? I'm yes, Regina sir. Waldrop, NBC5 News. Mr. Doritz, congratulations. What a rec Impressive what a guy. That's pretty cool. Imagine how many generations of kids he's <laughs> How happy the ditto machine is not used anymore, yes. uh, mm -hmm. using the, the copy machine.